Hello, it's Justin at The Tech Train here again. A couple of weeks ago, I published a video which was showing how to create random hands of playing cards in Microsoft PowerPoint. And this video taught two main things. One is how to generate random content, and the other was how to pull images from a folder of images and pull them directly at will into PowerPoint. And it was a popular video and I had quite a few emails and quite a few comments saying, you know, how can we use this in different ways? So what I want to do today is to demonstrate another way in which this same principle can be used. So what I've got here is another PowerPoint with, again, the three different slides. I'll demonstrate them in a second. And I have a folder and in this folder are uh, quite a lot, about 400 uh, images. Uh, these have been uh, generated using AI, of course, um, and all of these images have been designed to be imaginative, atmospheric, really good inspiration for uh, stories and that kind of thing. And the PowerPoint file, when I run it, let's run it now, um, and let's say I want to have five cards, I'm going to go to the five card window here. When I click deal, it will randomly choose uh, five random numbers between 1 and 400 and then depending upon what those numbers are it will select the appropriate cards from this folder, pull them from the folder directly into PowerPoint uh, so I don't have 400 images in PowerPoint it would just be too vast a file uh, for that to work really so this is a much more efficient way of doing it, it means the PowerPoint presentation is lighter, smaller, um, and uh, and will not be so laggy. Um, and once it's pulled those images into the uh, slideshow, it will then display them. Let's have a little look at how that works. So for uh, five uh, cards, And of course you can use this as inspiration for a story, maybe you're doing a creative writing uh, lesson or you're wanting to do creative writing at home uh, or poetry or art, even computer game design sometimes uh, can involve trying to think about uh, different worlds, different atmospheres, different stories. Um, if I go to the other page here and choose three cards, so this is a three card hand. <laughs> Now with 400 images, chances are I'm going to get a right old mix, and in that particular case we ended up with two that were very, very similar. Uh, that's unfortunate, but I'm not going to redo it for, for the demonstration of this, you get the idea. And there's a one card slide as well, so just simply one card dealt each time. Uh, there's really not that many of those floating castles, <laughs> it's uh, unusual. Um, but there we are, so that's the idea of it. Now I'm not going to show you how to do this simply because I already have done. Uh, last uh, two weeks ago, as I say, there was um, this video on the playing cards. So if you want to find out how to do this, how to pull random images from a folder of images and display them in PowerPoint, uh, this video from two weeks ago will show you. I'll put a link, of course, to that video in the description below. Uh, if you want to get your own copy of this uh, playing card slideshow, a fully working copy, the link to that will also be in the description. And if you would like to have a copy of this story cards presentation, along with the uh, 400 uh, imaginative uh, AI type images there, uh, that will also be available for you to access uh, using the uh, link in the description below. So I hope that gives you uh, another little thing to think about, another way of, of taking the concept of generating random content in PowerPoint and using a folder of images to pull those random images into your slideshow. If you liked that, please do give this video a like. That really genuinely does make a huge difference to the channel and also to my happiness. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, do so before you go, that would be wonderful. And if you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions, anything at all, please leave uh, a comment below. I do read all comments and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can. Um, and I shall hopefully see you in the next video. Bye for now.